Okay, so today we have something a little bit different. It's cardio and strength. And I'm just looking at my cheat sheet over here. And it doesn't look like we're actually using any weights for today. So uh, mostly just body weight exercises, cardio, and some strength training. So we're gonna get it warmed up. We'll just start with our warm up. So today because it is a little bit more cardio, we're gonna do a little bit more cardio in the warm up. So let's just start here with a jump rope. So you can just bounce side to side, or you can do a jump rope right here. The floor is just so squeaky. Six, seven, eight. Let's take it to a jumping jack. One, two, we'll just take those feet out. Six, seven, eight. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, let's do a little something different. It's called sort of like a swing kick. So you're just swinging your foot up and you're tapping your toe with your opposite hand. So you're just kind of kicking as high as you can. It's okay if you're only going there. Just go as high as you can. Bring it up. Up. Warming up the hamstrings. Good. I'm do another little hamstring stretch here. Put those feet out wide. Arms are going to come out. We're going to tap. Opposite toe, opposite hand. Go back to my whoa, Jane Fonda days here. Making sure you can see me. Good. Down and up. So you want to keep your back nice and straight as you do this. Kind of pushing your butt back a little bit as you reach. Straight line in the back. Try to keep those legs pretty straight. And up. Let's take some arm circles forward. Okay. So we're going to work through all the exercises about uh, probably, let's see what twice takes us. There's a little bit, uh, a couple more exercises on the list today than there are on the other workouts. So, and this one we're actually going to do just by sets. So what that means is um, we'll probably do like eight counts of something and then that'll be a set and then when we repeat um we'll do probably about that amount, amount again so uh we're just gonna get started here the first one is a cardio move it's a butt kick so you can step up here and butt kick here or you can run it out run it out in that butt kick all right so I am going to go for three sets of eight. So count it with me. Remember, you could always take it slow. One, two, or you can pick it up. Here we go. Five, six, seven, run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got two, two, three, four. Keep those heels up to the butt. Six, seven, eight. One more time. Eight, seven, six, five, four. It's a little warm. So here's one I love from my kickboxing days. I think we may have done this move um, some other time. We're gonna set it up here. My right leg is out. I'm gonna take my arms across the body. I'm gonna draw my knee in to my chest twice. I've got two knees. I'm gonna kick to the side. A little kickboxing. I'm gonna take my opposite hand and cross across my body. So there's two knees, one side kick, cross punch. We're going to do eight total of those. Here we go. So we got two knees, side kick, cross punch. There's one. Two knees, side kick, cross punch. I'm doing a little lunge there. Just bending my back knee and I'm lifting off that back heel. Kick, three, knee, two, kick, four, knee, two, kick, five, knee, two, kick, six, two more, two, kick, seven, one more, knee, two, kick, eight. Good. So it's okay, again, if you're not really kicking super high, if you're just kicking it here, just make sure you're kicking with conviction as if you're trying to knock somebody out. We're going to do the whole thing on the other side. So I'll show you right here quick again. Two knees, 
Same leg kicks. Now my opposite hand comes across the body and gives me that cross. A little bit of a kickboxing move here. Here we go. Set it up. Six, seven, we got eight. Two, kick. There's one. So notice that I kind of lean to the side a little bit on that side kick. Two, knee, two, and you can keep it high right here, or you can take it low on that lunge. Kick, four. See, I'll get a little lower. Knee, two, five. Knee, two, kick, six. Knee, two, kick, seven. One more knee, two, kick, eight. Alright, so grab a chair. If you have one handy, we're going to do our tricep dips. So here's one of our body weight exercises. We just did kind of some cardio intervals, and now we're going to do a strength interval. So we've got here, remember with our tricep dips, you've done these a bunch. <laughs> bringing the fingertips off the chair, palms secure on the chair underneath your butt. And you're going to bring your feet out. Here we go. And down and up. Let's go for 12. Two, three. Four, catch your breath with this. Five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you're not using your legs to help you. Nine, 10, 11, 12. And slowly bring it back to the chair. Nice job. All right, so the next one we have is a skater. You're gonna move the chair because we need a little bit more room for this one. Give yourself some room there. All right, so skater, basically like a speed skater you would see in the Olympics. So you're going to hop or jump to one side, and you're going to tap your foot behind you. Hop or step to the other side, tap behind. So step, tap behind, step, tap behind. If you're going to hop, just like that. Hop and other side. I am going to hop. I think you can too. Let's do it. Let's get some pep in our steps this morning. Here we go. Five, six, seven. We're going to hop over and one over and two so i just kind of use my hands front to back three over and four just tap with that foot behind five go to eight six actually let's go to ten seven why not right eight just two more sets nine and ten good so i keep my chest open I'm just leaning forward a little bit so we're not going to do it again, but I'll just show you the next time. You just sort of lean forward just a little bit. Okay, getting close. We're about halfway through with this first set. Got my matcha tea again. All right, we've got calf raises. Okay, so I put weights are optional. If you want to hold weights, that's cool. Otherwise, um, you can even balance with a chair if you want. It's kind of a ballet move. So if you want to bring a chair over and just put your hand there. We're going to do them first with our feet in parallel, which just means that your toes are going to point straight towards me. Okay, So we're going to lift up and down. So I'm just lifting the heels. It's a great exercise for my ankle, actually. <laughs> Four, five, we're going to do 12 of them. Six. Seven. If you're holding weights, just gives you a little extra resistance. Ten. Two more. Eleven. And twelve. All right. Good job. I don't know why it is so hot in my house. I think my AC is on. My air conditioning was seriously set at 77 degrees. Okay. I'm dying. It is so hot in here. Okay. Um... Oh, all right, cool. So we've got in, in, out, out. So we've got to hear this is another cardio move. So I'm glad I just turned my AC down. So we're going out, out, in, in with the feet. So whatever foot starts, that's the foot that's going to come in again. So if you're starting with your right foot, start with the right. If you're starting with the left foot, start with the left. So we're going out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Five, six, seven, here we go. Out, out, in, in. You just light on those feet and show you from the side. Just nice and steady. Let's go. Eight more. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Whew. Good. Okay. Cool. We are going to come. 
down to the ground, we've got a bear position. So I'm gonna grab my yoga mat here and show you. So, hold it here. So I've got both hands directly under my shoulders and I am going to extend my right leg behind me. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna switch this. So extend your left leg behind you, this is a little tricky, okay? It's opposite hand and leg. So whatever knee is on the ground, the opposite hand is on the ground. So right now for me, my right knee is on the ground and my left hand is going to stay on the ground. So it's just a little bit of a balance exercise. You're gonna pull, your, your left leg is behind you, your right arm is gonna come up and your hand's gonna be by your rib cage. We're gonna do this without a weight this time. You're just gonna kick your tricep back and bring it in. We're just working on that balance. So we're counterbalancing. Again, I've got my right knee on the ground, my left hand on the ground. If you're falling over, you're probably doing it wrong where one of your feet is probably in the wrong position. So I'm holding my elbow up high. Guys, you're gonna feel this just like kind of on your tricep, even without a weight. I'm just kicking it back. I don't know how many I've done. We'll say seven, eight, let's do two more. Nine and 10. Okay, I think we did two sets of eight on that one. Okay, I'm gonna switch over just so I can show you what it looks like on this side. So again, my back leg, so now my right leg is behind me, okay? So my left knee is on the ground, my right hand is on the ground, so I'm opposite, all right? So whatever knee is on the ground, the opposite hand is on the ground. You're gonna row this opposite arm, so my left arm is now up by my rib cage, okay? My, my left hand's up by my rib cage, and I'm gonna kick my tricep back and bring it in. Kick it back, bring it in. My toe is on the ground. I've got just a little bit of a modified quad pad here because you're gonna work your abs and you're gonna fight to kind of keep your balance a little bit here. So eventually we're gonna add a weight to this exercise. So you just wanna get this form really down so that you can get into this position and it's not super confusing. Okay, five, six, seven, and 10. I promise by the second time we do that in the second round, you're, it's going to be way easier. Okay, by what's it? Around the world ab crunch. Oh, cool. I like this one. All right. Um, I'm going to show you actually from this position here. I'm going to lay so you can see my. Oh, I don't even know if you can see. You can't even see that. Hello, my head is not even on. Okay, there we go. Glad I took that. Okay, so you are going to, it's around the world. So that just means we're going one direction, we're going up, and then we're going to go to the side, and then back up to the middle, and then to the other side, and then back to the middle. So you're just going kind of around, like halfway around the world, okay? So I'm just doing a crunch. So the first one is a regular crunch, up and down, and then I'm going to crunch my knee to my elbow here. Then I'm going to go back up to the center, and then I'm going to switch sides, opposite hand to opposite knee, and then back to the center. Good. So all the way around the world, that equals one, and we're doing eight. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, lift it up to the middle. Good. Right elbow to left knee, down, up to the middle, down, switch elbow to knee, and one, and up to the center and down, elbow to knee, and down, back to the center, and down, elbow to knee, there's two, and up, and down, and knee to an elbow, down, and up, and down, and switch, there's three, and up, and down, and knee to elbow, down, and up, and down, and switch, there's four, and up, make sure you're keeping your chin open from your chest, you don't want to be scrunching your chin into your chest. That's just bad news for your spine, the back of your neck. Side and up and other side. There's six, so you got two more whole rounds. Here we go. 
crunch and up to the middle and seven. So when I do these abs, I like to almost focus my eyes on the ceiling behind me a little bit. And it just helps keep my head in position. And eight. All right, nice job. So we rolled all the way through that. We're going to go back to the top and we're going to go back to those butt kicks, okay? So go ahead and grab a drink of water, get your yoga mat out of the way. You won't need that until the last two exercises anyway. Okay, let me see. Okay, 15 minutes. Perfect. So we're going to go through it again. And this will be just about a little over 30 minutes with the um, cool down. So that is perfect. Okay, so remember what we did, butt kicks. So you're either running it here or stepping, okay? They don't want to jump. Five, six, seven, I'm going to phase two. Here we go. Three sets of eight. Two, three, four, five, six. Line on the feet. Kick those heels up and eight. Relax my shoulders. 
Deep breath in. Let it out, and let's raise those heels up and down. So when you're in this position, make sure that you're not rolling on the back, on like the back of your foot. Make sure that your big toe is pressing into the ground just as much as your pinky toe, okay? So make sure as you go up and down, that whole ball of your foot is on the floor now, rolling on the outside. Okay, you got four more. Three, I think I lost count. <laughs> Two, and one. Woo, okay, good. Hands up on my All right, in and out. So again, we're going out, out, in, in. Just kind of running it. This time, if you want to come with me, we're going to get a little bit lower. So I'm just doing kind of a half little squat here, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Down, other side, and three, and up, 
down and breathe out, breathe, breathe that air out, down and other side and up, down and lift, down and up, down and lift and five and up, down and lift, down and both legs, down and up and six, we got two more, that's it. And up, keep that chin open from the chest. Really squeeze, rotate through the torso right there. And last one, up, down, and to me, down, and up. Last little twist, and down. Whoo, nice job. Good job, good job. All right, you want a bonus? How about a bonus? Why not? We, let's plant those feet. And let's do just a couple bridges right here. So we're going to do a bridge. We're going to come up to the top. We're going to come halfway down. We're going to go all the way back up to the top. And then back down almost all the way. But I've still got about an inch underneath my butt. So again, we're going to go up, halfway down, all the way up, all the way down. Leave that inch underneath the butt. Five, six, seven. We're going for ten. Up, halfway, up. All the way, leave that space. Up, halfway, up, and down. There's two, and up, and down, up, all the way. There's three, and up, halfway, up, all the way. There's four, and up, halfway, up, and down. There's five, and up, halfway, up, and down. There's six, and up, halfway, up, and down. There's seven, up, halfway, up. And down there is a two more. Halfway, all the way, and down. One more. We're gonna hold this one up. Hold, 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 hold. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now you're done. Bonus is over. We're gonna take arms and feet out. I just love this stretch so much. I'm going to take, whoop, I'm hitting the chair. So I got my arms up over my head, my legs out in front of me. Just stretch as far as you can with the room that you have. Good job. Whew, just got in and out real quick on that one. It's just under 40 minutes. We're going to take your knees up. Let's grab the hind one leg. Always remember, always do the cool down. So important to stretch everything out. Lengthen out your muscles. Lengthen out everything. After you work it, that's what helps aid in that recovery, and that's what helps your muscles really grow and um, get stronger and more flexible. All right. You're going to kind of flex that, point that toe towards your head, and if you can, reach up and grab your toe with your hand. If you grab it with your opposite hand, same hand, whatever is a little bit easier. You can always bend your knee just a little bit, but just really make sure you're feeling that stretch all the way down the back of the leg. And I'm going to switch sides right here. Grab behind your calf or from behind your thigh. Try not to pull on the back of your knee. A little tip there for knee longevity. All right, go ahead and flex your toe. And grab that toe if you can. Pull it into your head. Breathe, nice deep breaths. Good. Uh, all right, and drop it down. We're going to rock and roll up. I just kick my legs up and rock to the front. Bring it to me. We've got a nice little stretch here. I'm putting the soles of my feet together. It's called butterfly stretch. Oh, I'm grabbing my ankles and just kind of stretching my inner thighs a little bit. My back is nice and tall. Good. From here, Try and extend one leg out, other leg out, and try to extend into your straddle position. I kind of go a little deeper in this, but I'm going to bring my arms forward and then just down to the ground in front. I'm a little off camera. I just put my hands in front of me. Ah, think about all the awesome work that you're doing for your body. You just blew through a bunch of calories and hopefully your blood is flowing and you're feeling kind of invigorated to go about your day. Let's take 
that up and over. We're just going to one side here. Get a nice stretch on the side of the body right there. And let's just go to the other side. Good job. Yeah, cranking that AC definitely helped her. <laughs> and let's clip the legs together and just come here and just put those palms up on your knees right there. Just kind of drop your head to the front. We're going to roll the head to one side just about halfway. And you're going to roll it down and through to the other side and down and through to the other side and up and over. And very nice. All right, let's take a deep breath up. And out. And one more time. Cleansing breath. And open. All right. Awesome job. I will see you here next time for tomorrow's workout.